Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick video right now showing you guys my uh, Lassius Niger colony. I got back in uh, September roughly and uh, she only had about six workers with her. I got her off uh, Ant Kit UK. And now I have them housed here. As you can see, I'm showing you the Outworld first because there's lots of ants in it actually. As you can see, there's three right there. Two on the honey, one kind of the staircase to go get some honey, I guess. One down below there with the crickets. Eating some crickets. So yeah, just a little uh, container I got from the dollar store. Just cut some holes in it for the tubing. Have a piece of tube that runs all the way around. With a little entrance right there above snake bedding. Have some uh, terraria moss. A couple little plants. I use a... Uh, rubbing uh, baby powder on the sides to keep the ants out. As you can see, the ant right is going right there. They love the moisture of the uh, moss. I wet that every day. And some right there on the honey, and I think two down below there with the crickets. Yeah, you can see two right there. So yeah, pretty busy. And then I'll show you, I just have them, lots of tubing connected. One goes down here, just an extra test tube of water. They don't really use that though, so they have water in the nest. As you can see, more ants running through the tubes. A couple right there. Going to the back. And also, yeah, so here's the nest. It's an ant kit size two, and they're honestly great habitats. I go to this side so you can see them all along the wall. Sorry for the bad quality too, I'm just using my uh, iPhone, but so you can see there's workers all over the tubes there. I have a heating pad too, just a little 4 watt heating pad that I turn on and then all of the ants move their brood from that side of the nest down to that corner just there. The I'll actually do a video of that soon to show you guys. See, see they're starting to conjugate around that corner there. Ooh, as you can see there's lots of new workers too. If I can get to focus in there. See, there's lots of new workers, you can sort of see them. And that little pile there, the grayish ones. There's about three right there. So, and yeah, I think the ant kit though is a little bit too big because they're starting to build their garbage up in there, but I'll have to move them out. I have some actually new nest ordered on the ants Australia, so I'm waiting for those in the mail. As you can see, a huge pile of brood there. There's the queen in the bottom left. Bad camera quality. There's even some workers off in this corner. Probably about 20 down in there with some pupae. And then they keep all the, uh, or sorry, all the larvae there. Then they keep all the pupae and eggs over here. Mainly. With about, oh, I don't know, six, 70 workers there. Plus all the ones in the tubes that I can't really count. So, and all the ones in the outworld. Yeah, eating honey, eating crickets down below, just exploring it, wandering the tubes. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, I don't know, I think it's alright. I sort of want to get some clear uh, pieces, some elbows from uh, Ants uh, Canada, make it look nice. I'm actually building some uh, more Outworlds for them, so I just added this piece in yesterday, so I thought I'd do a video on that. Some explore it, but like there's one coming down here right now. But then I don't, they go in there, but they don't really stay because I keep this nest nice and moist anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I showed you guys this already, my new Tetramorium colony. I have housed in the ant kit size one. I sort of wish my colony, this colony, Lassie Sniger, was housed in here. Because then there would be no garbage left in there, so. Yeah, we'll have to see though. I think it's good. The ant kits are great though, they're actually very good for uh, cleaning and whatnot, and uh, hydration and moisture uh, content. See there's a one sponge right there. And then honestly, just put your little pipette there full of water, and it stays hydrated for about a few days. You can see all the ants gathering along the walls there. Just loving it. So yeah, I don't know, the ant kits are great, so I want to see how the Ant Australia one is. There we have four Allen keys to remove it. It's about eight, four, sorry, four or five layers. Just for easy cleaning. And there's just the smaller one. 
So yeah, as you can see, they're starting to conjugate now with the heater on. It's starting to move towards that side, so. I move a little honey, uh, whatever you want to call it, test tube, a small one, very small. I fill up with honey. As you can see, there's a normal size. And there's the small one, and the ants have found it already. And there's one, two of them in there, as you can see. And I also threw some nuts in there now. And the worker's going crazy for them. He already went back to the nest and called up this guy. Which is already there. So yeah. And word is spreading, as you can see. All those little one there, right there. Going back out. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Five or six more. Already in there. More inside the tube there. Lots of action. Another one just showing up. And you got lots still on top of the nuts, and I also put a little bit of uh, dry dog food, or uh, cat food, sorry, but it's pretty much the exact same stuff. Showing you guys all the ants running back and forth, bringing you, as you can see, even some there. All their uh, seeds right there, in that top left corner. The seeds, and the uh, cat food, that they're bringing back to the nest right now, so... That's only been within a couple minutes, so that's pretty good. I just see some on there right now. Picking up the little chunks, bringing it all the way back, and storing it in the nest. So yeah, pretty cool. So busy out here. Got all the ants on the seeds and down below on the crickets. Mealworms. On top of the seeds. Down below with the honey dish. Just inside the tubes running around. On top of the rocks. All over the cat food and nuts and almonds. Tubes. It's everywhere. The honey. It's great to see. You wanna your colony to grow all those workers so yeah it's great more workers even showing up there to the honey and around the nuts so yeah great stuff guys and uh stay tuned for more uh, updates